According to the Ministry of Health, 10 healthcare workers have succumbed to the virus so far, with the country recording 723 COVID-19 cases among medical staff. Unfortunately, when people get infected, some people also get a very serious form of the disease. And of course, the healthcare workers, as at yesterday, eight of them had passed on. And today you have reported another two that brings us to 10 healthcare workers. Again, our sincere condolences to the families and relatives of those who have left gallantly fighting this pandemic. The Secretary General of Kenya National Union of Nurses, Seth Panyako, has directed nurses and other health workers to down their tools effective Monday next week. The union says the move is as a result of non-payment of salaries and due to the increasing number of health workers testing positive for coronavirus. Do not go back to work unless you are assured that you are safe and the government is taking good care of you. So from Monday, it is not business as usual in this country. The union has asked the government to provide personal protective equipment to health workers in order to help them reduce the risk of contracting the virus. Can you provide us more effective uh, PPEs, that is personal protective equipment, without N95 masks and other protective gear from Monday? And Mandera is on strike. Lam is on strike. Homa Bay is on strike. Do not go back unless you are assured of your security or unless you don't care about your life and the lives of those that you care. However, governors have highlighted the financial crisis county governments are facing, thus requesting the nurses to remain calm. Health workers, we know you are suffering. Please remain at work for this two months as each county sort this matter out. It is also unfortunate that the union or the union, the nurses union, is now saying they call a strike. And they know the problem we are in. So how will the strike sort out the problem at the Senate? Do they want to go to the Senate and stand there and tell the Senate, the senators that do your work? Meanwhile, 30 counties have so far attained the minimum threshold of 300 isolation bed capacity that was previously ordered by President Uhuru Kenyatta as one way of lowering the curve. In our previous statement, we reported that 26 counties have attained the minimum threshold of 300 bed capacity in isolation facilities. We now have an additional four counties who have attained the threshold, bring the total to 30. According to Governor Weekly for Paranya, one of the main reasons as to why counties are unable to attain the minimum threshold of 300 isolation beds is lack of good cash flow to counties. Mohamed Ali, TV47, Nairobi.